What do you notice, Michaela? <laughs> the rainbow. <laughs> the pie <laughs> Happy birthday to you. For Travis's birthday, we took him to Texas Roadhouse, which was a really, really nice dinner. Dear Travis, happy birthday to you. Nice. You're supposed to clap. I can't. You got a fatty in your arms. Look, I'm clapping on there. Get over here, boy. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's clapping. The fat ass is clapping. <laughs> no, that made me happy. It was like dinner. Yeah. It was a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. Everyone was in a good mood, it seemed. You know? Yeah. The kids were really talking, which made me happy. No. No, because I wanted, I wanted us to have like a good meal together. That's really all I wanted. And that made me really happy. Tummy's big. Batman. Why are you Batman? Catwoman. You're what? My six row. Oh, yeah. I have to keep track of how many rows I'm doing. I think I'm going to do 46, so I have like. After this, I have 40 more to go. These contractions are hitting hard. I was having a bad contraction here. My face says it all. This was March 8th. We ended up going to the hospital later. This would be a good distraction mm. if you're in labor to just <clears throat> sit through the pain and just crochet. Because mm -hmm. I could have done this with Jaden the night that I was in so much pain. I could have just sat there crocheting, mm -hmm. just kind of try to keep myself. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I feel like it's too close to my birth. Yeah. It's just, if I'm already two centimeters, I don't need to be going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, something's misplaced. This is March 8th, the same day, but at nighttime. You should probably, like, if you want to show these right here. Yeah, well. I was two and a half centimeters dilated and they sent us home and then we ended up coming back on Travis's birthday, March 9th. And I was still having contractions and they just wouldn't go away. So they ended up deciding that they were going to schedule the C-section. And they had me, um, wash myself with these um, wipes, these sanitizing wipes, which burned for some reason. I think I had like an allergic reaction to them. And then right before the surgery, they made Travis get in a scrub suit and they made me wear a hair cap and then they made me drink this stuff i guess to keep your acid reflux down and then i had to take gabapentin for pain and it was like it was a few pills that they had me take they had me hooked up to an iv and obviously a monitor on my stomach the whole time i just couldn't believe that i was actually getting the c-section that day and it was funny because travis's mom predicted it she said i guarantee that you're going to have him on Travis's birthday. And I was like, watch, I'm going to end up having him on your birthday. Travis is so tired there. <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> it's really nice. Thanks. No problem here for you. It was really scary going into the operating room because it was just very sterile, um, bright in there, and there was... Um, three surgeons in there and then I believe like two or three nurses and then what they called the baby catcher which is the woman who 
she said she catches the babies we're like how do you catch them like with a f what are they like a football they just shoot out so we were making jokes with her about it but she kind of ruined my birthing experience because she did not bring hunter to me right when he came out i just really wanted to see his face and she brought him to the table instead and um weighed him and did all that stuff had travis cut his umbilical cord but why it ruined it for me is because i was looking up at this bright light the surgical light above me and i could see the reflection of um, them cutting my stomach open like my stomach wide open and i could see the blood pouring out and i was trying to stay awake I, I never felt that tired in my entire life and i asked the anesthesiologist if he put um a sedative in my iv and he said no he didn't and i was like well i feel like i'm gonna faint i feel really tired so i was thinking I'm gonna die like I'm dying and Travis doesn't know that I'm dying and yeah. I just want to see my son's face before I die I felt really mm -hmm. calm but I felt sad because I just was like I just really want to see my son's face and so I was fighting to stay awake like you have to stay awake um, even the anesthesiologist said at one moment he said to just go on and go to sleep and I was thinking no I'm not going to sleep if I go to sleep he's like we'll wake you up for the most important part which is when Hunter comes out and I was thinking no I'm not going to sleep if I go to sleep I'm not waking up um, this is just what was going on in my head and it was just sad for me because I was looking back and I was like trying to desperately see my son's face and I just wish that she would have just brought him over to me when he first came out just for a second just so I could see him um, so I didn't like that and then the other thing that really scared me is when I saw my son he was crying and screaming when he first came out but then all of a sudden he from my perspective he went limp and he stopped crying and I was in the background saying is he okay why isn't he crying why isn't he moving? And no one was answering me. Um, it's hard to hear me on the video saying this. I think it's sweet that Travis was like praying over me. He was really concerned before the surgery. I'm in disguise. Yes, you are. Doctor. Sorry. As I was saying, I just, it scared me because he, he wasn't moving and hmm? Uh, finally, Travis like answered me and said, um, "How are you feeling?" I'm feeling good. He's okay, yeah. Lauren. And then I felt at peace. Feeling good. You nervous? No. Nope. That's good. I'm excited. Yeah. Here, I felt so calm. It? it was weird, but Travis said that my arms were shaking so bad that he didn't want to record it. He didn't want to record any of the bad parts. Yeah, I feel them. Mm -hmm. I can feel them tugging right yeah. now. It'll be all right. Love you. I love you too. But to me, my arms felt completely still. And I was trying to be supportive for Travis. Like, are you okay? I was really fighting to stay awake. You just maybe feel a little tired, you can uh, catch a little quick snooze, but we'll wake you up when baby's coming, okay? Uh, hey, that's a Okay. It's okay. Oh, Doing good. A lot of fluid in there. Go. Yeah. Can you record that? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be just a minute. Like, 
so cute. first time I was crying it's just like one of the most beautiful sounds you can Aww. hear as a mother when the babies cry for the first time then when I heard that cry I was like holy cow Travis and I are in for it I was like boy does he have some lungs on him he's so blue he unfortunately suffered from respiratory distress and he had to be in the NICU for five days and that was the hardest thing to ever have to go through as a parent. I was in there, really just broke down crying. I just, I cried so many times that I just felt like I, I couldn't cry anymore. I felt like I didn't have any tears left and then I would start crying again. It's just really hard seeing your baby being separated from your baby and your birth plan just go completely different than how you envisioned it. And then just the fact that uh, he's not, he's sick and there's, you just feel like you have no control. Like you're just helpless. It's a, you feel defeated pretty much. Do they normally look blue? Yeah. This is where I got really concerned because he wasn't crying and he wasn't moving and instinctually I knew something was wrong with him. All right, Dad, you want to cut the cord? Yeah. Okay. Just know that it's like much tougher than what it appears. Okay. Okay, is that fair to say? Yeah. Because <laughs> people think that it's just like a one little cut and that's kind of it. So you're just going to cut right here, right on... Like right above. Right there? Yep, you can totally cut right there. Perfect. That's it. Strong work. Thank you. And you can just leave it right there. Yep, Perfect. thank you. I feel like you're going to pee again. When like he started crying again, that was just <laughs> when I felt a huge relief, like wash over me. Yeah, he looks good. Like, what is this? Why is this? Eight, nine, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Sweet. He's moving. He's good. Mm -hmm. had fluid in his lungs from the c-section and uh, that's why he suffered from respiratory distress
He's doing good. Why? Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Yeah, seven pounds like eleven. Gases. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I really want to see him. I think she's they're gonna bring him over. Oh We're just getting measurements real quick. You see him closer? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda of bundle him up. I'm just gonna do the rest of his measurements really quickly and then I'll totally give him my tea, okay? even know that full intent until about a year old really yep and they might even change after that by the way which is so crazy to think about mm -hmm. but yep after a year two three four five he's got all his toes five. and got fingies his, yep Yeah. 
you go, bud. I always kind of double wrap them, especially like in here, just because it's like. Got a lot of gunk in your cheeks, huh? Yep. No, I never. I always double wrap them just because it's colder in the OR. Yeah. And I'm gonna pack you them, kind of like in a different room. Pack them up like a burrito. I do. Nice. Yeah. You got it, you know. They deserve to be burritos too. Yep. <laughs> So he will like sneeze and kind of do that coughing uh -huh. because he didn't get like squeezed out of the womb. Um, so he is like working up a lot of like fluid. So okay. yeah, you'll notice that like that's what he does. Okay. Um, and it's just totally like babies will be really spitty and all that. Um, whenever um they are being section. Okay. Dad, I'm gonna have you take a seat just so that you can like kind of. Yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, I know. You're so beautiful. You did it. You're so beautiful. You did it. There's little bubbles. I know. I'm sorry. Are you guys going to do any of the baby meds? Are we going to do any of the baby meds? So cute. Oh, so precious. I wish I could see him better. I can't see him. God. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. It's like 1500. <laughs> Good. You want me to get one, or you, you're able to do it, or? Oh, I'm um, sure. If, okay, if you want, one? sure. Might be a little better angle. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, you're recording. You want you still want to record? Oh, um, yeah, you can still record. Okay, I, can, I guess I can take some pictures while. Yeah, you're worn out. It is surgery, major surgery, even though you don't feel it. So it's thank you. Yeah, it's similar to you. Okay. I feel it. It is major surgery. So you're gonna I know. What the heck? I just like. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be so bald when he came out. He's just so beautiful, and I just couldn't stop looking at him. It's just like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Couldn't believe that he had hair, which explains why I had so much acid reflux. Less. You know, that's an old wives' tale. If you have acid reflux and your baby's gonna come out with a head full of hair. The second video is gonna be on Hunter. I love that picture so much. And that one too. It's like sweet Travis holding him the first time. Little hunty. Best gift to all of us. <laughs> 